teacher, we cannot hear you. Teacher. Okay, yes, now. Let's solve. All of you, please, open your doc page. Uh, no, uh, page 10, exercise number 12. There's the one that I want to solve. Just a minute, please. Because number 12. Ah, oh, number 13. Okay. Number 13. Okay. And number 13 here, the length of the line segment DF is 4x plus 2. Okay. With E at the midpoint. So here we have a line segment. D, F, and E is a midpoint. This is number three. Yeah. The length of D, E is 17 inches. What is the value of X? Look at me here. They told me that the length of D, F, from point D to point F is written in an expression 4x plus 2. And they told me that the length of D, E is 17. And they asked me to find x. Yeah, the distance, not the space, the distance between D to E. Yes, how you will solve it? No, no, see, from D to F is 4x plus 2. From D to E is 17. What is the idea? Yes. You have to find X. Yes, Nara. No. Yes. No, no, no. See, no, that's minus, not plus. No, no. Bravo. That's it. The length of D, F from D to F is 4x plus 2. Okay? In order to find this equation, I need the length from D to F because here the expression is D, F. So I need the length from D to F. But I don't have it. I have from D to E. Okay? But, but because... E. No. Because E at the mid, I said that they told me that E is a midpoint. So E in the middle. So D to E is 17. And E to F will be what? Will be 17. Okay? So 
the length of EF will equal the length of DE, which is 17 because E is a midpoint. So it bisects the EF. It cut it into two equal parts. So now df is 4x plus 2 and df is 34. 17 plus 17. A midpoint. So what is the length of df? It will be 17 plus, or you can say like. So it's what? Five, six. So it's five, six, the EF. So, so DF is a length of DE plus the length of EF. Five, six equals, oh, so it equals six. Okay, DF. Now, so DF is DE plus DF, which is mean 17 plus 17, which is 34 inches. Now, it's the same, yeah. Now, 34 is the same, the solution of this one. So, for 4x, So now, 4x. Okay, 4x plus 2 is equal to 70. You know, solve it in your copy book in order to find x. 4x plus 2 is equal to what? Sorry, 34, I'm sorry. 34 minus 2, minus 2. So, Four. Yes, hold it and give me the answer. Continue. Or can I, can I write oh, it? Check, check, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Now, so 4x will be what? I know. What is the value of x? Divide by four. Divide by four. X will be x. Anyway, yes, we will solve this one. We want to find the Bicep. and cut it in the middle. Stop talking. Stop talking. Four H plus two equals thirty four. Minus two, minus two. But they are in uh, not correct place because of the collaboration. Okay, negative two, it must be here. Negative two, it must be. So, but as an equation. Yes. My last time to hear that algebra works to your brain. Well, like, it puts your brain on both geometry, like, you just yeah. algebra. Algebra, it's harder than, see, algebra, it's harder than geometry. Yeah, but later, later on geometry, you'll find, like, not, you will not interest in it. You know, algebra, you will find a lot of steps, but you will. Interesting. Just a minute, please. Divide by four, divide by four. My toby because of collaboration. Okay? Yeah? 
4 x plus 2 equals 34 minus 2 minus 2 for x is 32 divide by 4 divide by 4 x is 8 Now, before I don't think so. This is in grade five, grade uh, four. Okay, now. Module one, lesson two. Now, after we talk about lines, we are going to talk about angles. So now, this lesson is talking about how we will define and measure the angles. Now, we know that. Now, now, we talk about a line, and we talk about array. Yeah. We say that this is array. Yeah. Start it from a point and it will not stop. If we have now two rays that they are intersect at one point, okay, this it form an angle. So if you have two rays that they are intersecting at a point, we will an angle. So this will be. But teacher, why can't it be Yes. Which one? 
angle, this is the, the angle is between these two lines. Okay? So this is a meaning of an angle. Now, how we will name the angle? You have two ways. You can say, by the way, this is a sine of angle, which we say like AB, AB, line segment, AB is a ray. Okay? Now, AB is a line. But to name an angle, you need the three letters. Shahid, wake up. We need three letters or one letter, but not for B point, you say point B. Yeah. Okay? So here, to name an angle, we have two ways. You can say A, B, C. So, to name an angle, I need three letters, A, B, C, or you can say angle B. But this is not working all the time, because sometimes angle B is common angle. So, almost, you have to say A, B, C. So, if I say A, B, C, it's measure, oh, it means, sorry, the measure of an angle between A, B, and C. Ah, uh, yeah, bravo. Now, you cannot say A, you cannot say C, you can say only B because it is a vertex point or it, because it's a point where the two rays are intersecting. Why can't you say AC? No, AC, no. If you say AC, it means line. Okay? You have to say three letters to name an angle. Now, there is something we call it vertex. Vertex means when you have these two rays, they are intersect at one point. This point, we call it vertex. We maybe, you know, all of you, that is as and has a triangle as an example. For the triangle, how many vertices we have? Three. One, two, and three. So here, where the point, where the two rays are intersect, we call it a vertex. Now, what is the vertex, the adjacent angles? Adjacent angles, it means if we have two angles all on the same plane. What is the Vertex, where the two rays are intersect. Like in this point. No. Where they are intersect at this point. This point is a vertex. Like, can you show me in another shape? Okay, as an example, this one. We have a ray. We have a ray. They are intersecting at one point. Uh, they're combined together. At one point. This one we call it vertex. Now, look at me. What is the adjacent angles? Adjacent angles are two angles in the same plane. Okay? With a common vertex. So, if you have, as an example, x, y, z, and Oh, like this. So the C, the, the now see, they are in the same plane, the and they have common vertex. Where is the C vertex y, of y. the angle? See now, for this angle first, how you will name it? Uh, uh, X, y, Z. Bravo. For this angle, Z y, y. Z, y, w. Bravo. So what is the common vertex? Y. C, uh, y. y. So we here we have a common vertex y. And come on, side. side. I and mean C. this one, which is YZ. So the C will make two vertices. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. So now here, so we have there are common in our vertex. We have common side. So if we have common vertex and common side at the same time, I would say that they are an adjacent angles. So if you get anything that now, you see with the three, uh, with three sides with the adjacent angles, oh. it should be adjacent. Now, what do I mean by adjacent angles? Like A, B, C, and C, B, D. Oh. Later on, I will tell you how you will use the adjacent angles. So teacher, we cannot okay? say like in the 
A, B is not an angle. You have to say three letters. Adjacent angles like A, B, C. This is an angle. Okay? And if you have another angle, they have the same vertex and the same side. So these two angles are adjacent. When I use the adjacent, later on you will see that if you have like now we said before that if this is a three and this is four, so what is the the uh, length of ABC or AC? What you would say? Three plus four. Is it right? Plus we talk it in the last lesson. Now here for the adjacent angles. Okay, look at these two angles. They have the same vertex, the same common side, so they are adjacent. Now, how I will, if I say that this is 52 degree and this is 38 degree as an example. So what is the measure? Of an angle X, Y, Z. C. Measure. Red, uh, second, look at me. X, Y, W is 38. W, Y, Z is 52. What is the measure of the angle X, Y, Z? Yes, you will add it. Okay, you will add the measure of this angle plus the measure of this angle together to get an big one. So they will be, and this number they're not accurate, so let's make it 48. So the angle is 100. The example. Okay, later on I will explain for you, but this is an usage of the adjacent angles. We cannot say that that one is 52 because it's more than 90. That 52 half more than that. No, it's more. Ah, you, yeah, I changed the number. It must be 100. Okay. Now, don't try this. Now, just I want to give you an example of what is the adjacent. I will tell you, I will talk about it. Okay, this is 52. This is 48. You will add them, you will get 100. Now, after that, I will give you now the types of angles. We have a lot of types of the angles. Let's start with them. See now. We, if the angle, now this one, it's mean. Now, when the measure of the angle A is with greater than zero, now by the way, the angles cannot be negative, and you must, if you write an angle, you must put degree sign, bravo. That means 30 degree. If I saw 30 degree, it's been an angle. Don't write as 30. You must tell me what is the unit of it. Now, if the angle is between 0 and 90, like 10, 15, 20, 55, 85, 89, this name of angle, like this one here, we call it acute angle. You know them before. Okay? To memorize them or to remember them, remember acute like acute. Okay? It's me, it's small. Now, right? If an angle is exactly 90, we will say that it's a right angle, and we will put this square. That means it's a right angle. 
Now, if an angle is more than 90, but less than 180, we call it obtuse. Okay? So, if it is greater than 90, less than 180, what we call it? Obtuse. Give me an example. 95. Okay, another example. 100. 170. Bravo. 135. The, all of these angles are what? Obtuse angles. Now, if the angle is 180, what we call it? Straight angle. What we call it? Straight angle. And if it is greater than a 180, we call it reflex angle. So now, if you have now, yeah, let's see this one now. This one is 30 degrees. As, Which type of angle? It, it is what? It's because, it's it's because it's less than nine. Yes. Equals to 90, it means they are like this. Oh, so it is 90 degrees. Shape, yeah, but. For the straight one, you will see now what is the measure of the angle starting from this line, ending at this line. You will find that it is 180. So this is will be a straight one. This will be a right one. This is obtuse. Now, if you have now, Here. So, this is now the coordinate here. Okay? Here you have to see that this is angle 0, 90, 180, 270, ending with 360. This is the measure of the angle for the x, y, here. Now, If I start now each angle, I must have a starting line and ending line. I can say like that like starting one and terminating one. But this is not for you. Say start hand or starting ray, ending ray. The first center is here. Now, if I have this line and this ray, okay? Now look at the angle. It's between zero. And 90. So what is the name of the angle? Between 0 and 90. What is the name of it? It will be acute. Bro. Less than 90 greater than 0. Hey, between 0 and 90. You will measure this one. And from 0 and from this one, it's 90. So it lies, oh, it is before 90 degree, so it will be less than 90. Uh -huh. Now, this one, what if 360 was up and that was down? No, no, they are the same, just like this. Now, if you have a line, you start from this and you stop at right this there. one. So, what is the name of this angle? Will be right angle. Okay. Now, if you have and the same, you start at this point from this side and up to you stop at this one. This one, what we call it? What we call it? It's a greater than 90. But less than 180, what we call it? Obtuse angle. Now, now, if you have starting from this side and you go and you stop here, what is the name of this angle? 
will be strength. And if you have an angle, you start from this point. What we call it, it's greater than 180. What we call it, reflex. Bravo. Don't measure it from this one. You have any free time. We measure the angle, measured with counterclockwise. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. When you want to measure the angle, ma ma measure it counterclockwise. Later on in grade 10, okay, you will know that if you measure it starting from this one to this one, it will be negative. Negative something. For you now, it must be positive. Later on, you will see that you will, if you measure it with clockwise, it will be negative. This one. From. Oh, this from uh, 306. From zero. Forget, forget this one. See, I mean that is make one revolution. Forget it. Start from zero, ending at a point between after 180. We call it reflex. What is the You mean like this one? Greater than 180. Here, yeah. you measure this one. When you, I told you, when you measure the angle, you must start from, you go, you go counterclockwise. So if you so move it clockwise, it must be negative. Okay. okay, so when you measure the angle, go counterclockwise. Now, I told you, measure it. From this point up to this point, it's a greater than 180. Hi, here is 180. It's continue after. No, this is 180. It's continue after 180, so it will be greater than it. See, see, see. Yes, here is a line. Cut and perpendicular one. Well, that means this is 90, this is 180. And this is come on. This is 90, this is 180. If the angle stop here, it is less than 90. What is the meaning of angle? Angle is a, yeah, it's a measure of rotation. Where's I start? Where's I rotate? I stop here. I stop before 90. When I stop here, I stop at 90. I continue like here. I get an angle greater than 90. If I stop at this line, I stop at straight angle. So it's an straight angle. Yes. K H K H C. Yes. Yes. Ah, see. If you say T H K, I don't have T H K to be repeated. But if you say K H T, you start from K H T to be up to. Okay. Uh, up to sir. Now, do you have any question? Yes, I understand. Five. What's the what's the obvious? It's greater than ninety. Where is ninety? This is ninety. It's greater than the 90, it will be obvious. It's acute. 
Teacher, it's more less than one. How more? Here, it's no. more. No. Yeah, What's the meaning of the angle, Maria? Oh, yeah. What does it mean? Like it's the one between ninety and one hundred. Okay, خلاص. Okay, just a minute. Go back. Later on in the video. This is a protractor. Okay? This is a question. I have this one. This is a question in your book. Okay? Use a protractor to find the measure of each of the following angles. Now, look at this one, number 17. What is the measure of an angle A, B, D? Yell. A, B, D. Yell, no, look at your box. I think it's an angle. I want to give you the measure. Just a minute, just a minute. This one. A, B, D. How you will measure the. See, guess. How you will measure the angle? Yeah. If you have this protractor, you must start from here. Angle zero. Yeah, angle zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, up to 180. Now, so you have to measure from left to right. This is for the protractor. Now, A, B, D. No, no, I want to give me the, the measure of the angle. How it will be? It will be 20. So now, it's a 20. Is it acute or obtuse or? It is acute. Now, Number 18, E, B, F. Listen. E, B, F. Yes. E, B, F. Now, yes. Wait, no. No, no, no. No. E, B, F. 50. Thank you, Mayor. You will start. At 40, you measure the uh, you find the measure of rotation starting from a 40, ending at 90. So you will say 90 minus 40, which is 50. You should add it to say A B F. E B F. Oh my God, it's A. Okay, it starts at 40. It's measure. It's rotate. Finish. It's rotation at 90. So what is the measure of it? It will be 50, which is accurate. Now, number 19, G, B, C. This one. Yeah. Starting from 130, what do you think? Uh, page 19. 40, 40. And these are 40. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. It's no, exactly. Yeah. It's 40, it's 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, Okay, okay, what's the name of the measure of the angle? No, if you look, 131, exactly, it's 131. Yeah, because okay, it's bravo. So, it started at 131 and it stopped at 180. So, what will be? It will be 49 degrees, which is accurate. Oh, yeah, we might it. No, you have to stop. See this one? Yeah. On the line. Yeah, we'll up, 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 up. Yeah. Side now, D, B, F. 
D, B, F. Wait, 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 I want to solve this one. 30, 70. Yalla, try. D, B, F. Jury. Because 20 minus 90 is 70 degrees. 70 degrees. No, it's 69. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Starting from 20, and he had what? 90. 90. Yeah, so well, it should be what? 70. Yeah, this, 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 how it will be? Because nine, 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 nine. ninety. Because from forty to ninety, it's fifty. From ninety to thirty, it's forty. So it's gonna be nine. Now, what is the right? It's right, bro. The last one now. D B C. D B C. Yeah. One hundred sixty. Uh, teacher, it is one hundred sixty. One hundred sixty. Uh, okay. And it's what? Bravo. Why it's obvious? Yeah. Because it's greater than ninety. Yeah. Greater than ninety. Less than ninety. Yes. Okay. Then let me write it. Uh, you have to know this. Nice. Less than? Yes. 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 Did you finish writing?